everybody. Thank you for your time today. Hi, Nancy. Hi. I love the hair, Maggie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Um, well, uh, to start, I'm sorry, but I have to talk about the wedding trasher scene. <laughs> I got feedback on how it was filming that, and I mean, what a way to begin the story. Oh, and it was, wasn't it early in the shoot, Dennis? It was one of our first days too, which never happens, um, but it was really fun. I mean, luckily, luckily it was one of our, one of our first days because we were shooting in October in Boston, so it, it got cold. So we were really lucky. We had a nice day and we didn't all freeze in the water. Uh, it was, it was awesome. Um, and the wire work, I mean, it was just such a sense of fun. It's like being a little kid, like you get to, to show up and do all this cool new stuff and parachute through a wedding. Why not? <laughs> and walk down the aisle with it. <laughs> yeah, with a soaking parachute, like a train. Uh, yeah, that was, it was such a great opener. I loved it. And I couldn't believe it when we saw it, you know, my, there, my, 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 my husband was like, you went par like you jumped out of a plane. This is crazy. Like what? I, you didn't tell me you did any of this stuff. I'm like, the edit's really good as well. <laughs> I did parts of it. There's parts of it that are definitely an expert. Um, but it looks, it looks great. It looks badass. It did. Thank you, filmmaker. Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> um, and then uh, for you, I mean, you just answered one of my questions. It was filmed in Boston. Your character gets to bring out the beauty of Boston and want us to go visit. Yeah, yeah. I play um, play a tour guide and I fall in love with one of my passengers and then I lose her forever and I try and find her. Do I find her? That's the question. That's the question. And for the storyteller and filmmaker, I mean, starting, you have these different love stories going on, you know, um, how did you come up with it? And I read somewhere it was, uh, your wife asked you for a wedding movie? Yeah, I was right this very, I was walking into this very office and she said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to write a script. And she said, what's it about? And I said, I don't know. I'm going in to try to figure it out. And as I'm closing the door, she said, write a wedding movie. I love wedding movies and they always make money. So I <laughs> shut the door and she, she was right about one thing. It's a good <laughs> wedding movie, but we, the pandemic has sort of closed the theater doors. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a, in everybody's home starting Friday. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a big romantic. Uh, guy, I love romance, and uh, I thought uh, not to do. I didn't want to do the wedding movies that have already been done, the wedding planner, and all of those other things. So I thought I'd do it. What everybody who works on a wedding works for the perfect day, for the perfect couple, for the perfect fantasy romance. And meanwhile, all of their romances and loves are chaotic and crazy and heartbreaking. But you took on a full challenge. I mean, you have these stories going on at the same time and we're just kind of waiting like, wait, how, how do these connect? And it was a, a beautifully done. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Not only that, but you actually covered what a lot of films are missing, um, you know, visually impaired. Um, you know, people and experiences and how they experience that, but yet they make the most out of it. In this case, you have Diane Keaton playing it, who, I mean, is unbelievable and charming and witty. Yeah, yeah, I wanted her character to be somebody who had this tragedy happen to her. And she just decided, fine, that happened. And so I'm gonna go on with my life and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna overcome it. And actually the woman, uh, that uh, we had who trained Diane, th 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 that happened to her in her 20s. She lost her sight. And yeah. she said, she said when, it, when, you t when you told me this story, she said, that's me. I just said, to hell with it. I'm living my life. And she does. That's impressive. Uh, that's one of the, the parts that I actually really enjoyed and appreciated because, you know, we're not all perfect. And it's something that you you take it as I'm gonna adapt and make the best out of it somehow, you know? Right, 100% right. Yeah. So how did you find these 
This great cast. Um, uh, I got, I just, I, I, I got lucky. I just got lucky. I, they, they said, hey, Maggie Grace is, one, is interested in doing it. So we got on the telephone and we talked for four minutes and I said, You're, I can't wait for you to do this. She's the smartest person in the room right now. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about you, Nancy, but she's got a vocabulary. She wrote the thesaurus. Really? No. <laughs> the best vocabulary of anybody. It, it definitely feels like the who's who of nice people. Like it was a really nice set to be on and, and uh, a, a nice vibe. Um, we all got to share a, a beautiful uh, autumn in Boston. Yes. Well, thanks to you. We're going to have to go back. I, had, I was lucky to go earlier this year. So um, it is a beautiful, a beautiful city. It is. Yeah, right. it's, almost, it's almost like a character in the movie. Mm. It was, it was for sure. Um, well, thank you guys so much for your time. Um, people are going to love and have a kick out of it. And thank you for bringing some fun personalities um, into people's home this month. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Nancy. We need, it. we need it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.